What's going on there, YouTube? And welcome back to another comic book video. This is the channel where we sit down and cover different comic book stories from different comic book companies. Today, we're going to jump back over to DC Comics and continue our coverage over the DC Rebirth era of the Green Lanterns. Remember, last year we were covering both the Green Lanterns book and also the Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Court books as well. Well, today, we are going to continue that idea and pick back up with the Green Lanterns book which of course stars both Simon Bass and Jessica Cruz. And now in this video right here, we are going to learn a little bit about the first seven Green Lanterns and also watch Simon Bass and Jessica Cruz get their training on from the Green Lantern Corps. So if you do like today's comic book video, please hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel for more content to come in the near future. I do hope you enjoy today's video. So with the opening of this book, we pick back up with Jessica Cruz and Simon Bass being dragged by the rings to the home base of the Green Lanterns. Remember that at the end of our last Green Lantern story, well, Jon Stewart decides that it is time for them to officially have some training. Except for Jessica Cruz, she never truly went to space. She has been to other planets, but for her to be forced to travel across the universe it is terrifying her so she basically asks her ring to stop but with her doing that well now she is freaking out even more now because now she is lost in the middle of the universe lucky for her that Kyle Rayner does appear to give her a hand and also calm her down this is a great moment because Kyle was the newest lantern from Earth before Jessica Cruz and Simon Bass. So seeing him being the one to help Jessica Cruz calm down and get a feel on what being a lantern truly means is really nice. He takes her to different planets and show her some different species. He even shows her the home of the Green Lanterns, which is Mogo, the living planet that was also given a Green Lantern ring. Now when they get there, she gets to see all of the different Green Lanterns from all over the universe. After their small tour, well you have Kyle and Jessica finally catch up with Simon Bass, who we see him hanging out with Kilowog. We all know this man is a fan favorite character. He used to be the one to train new Green Lanterns and actually that is when he realized that Jessica Cruz never had actually gone through training. So he takes away her Green Lantern symbol on her chest. For the Green Lanterns, until you complete your training, no symbol. But that is when she sees the Yellow Lantern's power battery chilling next to the Green Lantern's power battery, letting us know this comes before the Fracture storyline. Either way, you have Kilowog explain that there has been a truce between the two Lanterns, which she does have a small run-in with one of the Yellow Lanterns, as we can see and been seeing some of the Yellow and Green Lanterns don't get along very well since they used to be enemies for so long. Anyways, you have Kilowog be the one to calm down the angry Yellow Lantern. Skipping over to Rami, who is really not Rami, or is it Rami or Rami? I keep saying Rami, I want to say it's Rami, I could be wrong. Anyways, this is not really Rami, it is Valthum. Remember, the essence of Valthum, the first lantern, who used the travel lantern, well, he has taken over the body of Rami, and he is trying to find a way to get his revenge against the guardians of the universe, and take down all of the different lanterns except he was also pulled to Mogo like Jessica Cruz and Simon Bass were, where he is confronted by Ganthit and Said, who for one think that this is Rami. Remember, Rami was banished for making the Phantom Ring, a ring that has the ability to connect to every different Lantern Corp. Anyways, they tell Valthum that all of the Guardians of the Universe, except them, are dead which hurts Valthum plans on killing off the Guardians. Also, that since they think he is Rami, well they need him to fix the Green Lantern rings, 
since he was the one who made them. And this again is getting Val through the chance to think up a new game plan to destroy all of the different lanterns. Getting back to Jessica Cruz and Simon Bass, well this is the big moment for both of them because this is where they are greeted by Jon Stewart, who at this point is the leader of the Green Lanterns Corp, where he explains that he called them here to tell them that they need some training. So then he proceeds to show them who will be the ones to train them. Jessica Cruz will have the honor to train with Guy Garner, and Simon Bass will have the honor to train with Kyle Rayner. So chapter two opens up with Jessica Cruz going through the training process with Guy Gardner. When it comes to Guy Gardner, well, he is the most loud mouthed, hard headed lantern out of all of them. So for Jessica, let's just say this training process is not going as well as she hoped. He's making this training very hard to the point he has Jessica Cruz actually considering quitting to be a Green Lantern because of how hard he is being on her. For Simon Bass and Kyle Rayner, their training is a little less intense than what Jessica Cruz is going through. What Kyle Rayner is trying to do is really more of helping Simon Bass be more creative with his constructs. So far, when it comes to Simon Bass, well, his constructs are just basic. This is coming from someone who brought new life to the idea of what a Green Lantern construct could be when they use their rings. For Valthum, who is in the body of Rami, well, he is trying to find where the Travel Lantern went to. This is the moment he finds out that the Travel Lantern was used to create the first seven Lantern Rings the first seven Green Lantern Rings. This is very important because we are about to learn who are the seven Lanterns that were chosen to be the ones to start the Green Lantern. So we get the origin of one of the first Green Lanterns, starting with Aletha. She came from the third world Galactica. Of course, this world came before both New Genesis and Apocalypse, the home of Darkseid where the world before them was killed off because of war, where we see a debate going on. One side feels like they should not help other planets that have constant war, while the other side feels like they should send one person to be an example on how war does not fix anything at all. That is when you have Aletha volunteer to be the person to go out into the universe to be that example. Except that is the moment where a Green Lantern ring lands on her finger, making her the first Green Lantern. Getting back to Jessica Cruz and Guy Gardner, well, we see that training is not going as well as she had hoped. Either way, that is when you have Kilowog appear and try to give her a pep talk talking about how she should never doubt herself nor the idea of her willpower. That her willpower is always there and you can see that willpower as long as you look deep inside of you. She sees her willpower shine bright and let her know that she has the ability to be a Green Lantern. Proceeding back to Simon Bass and Kyle Rayner, well basically it is him still learning how to make more creative constructs, where there is a moment he is beginning to get the idea of going beyond the usual basic constructs. Why not try to make some bigger and crazier things? He does, but again, Kyle was the person to introduce more creative constructs and Green Lantern comics. So even though Simon Bass is getting better with that, Kyle is still pushing that pressure to be better. Back to Jessica and Guy Gardner. Well, after Kilowog had left, it is back to dealing with Guy Gardner full time now, which as you can see, he is giving her a hard time and making her upset to the point she stops doing what he was asking her to do and then she turns around and hits him right in the face. Of course, in any military, hitting a superior officer is a huge no-no. So now the question is, what is going to happen to her next? 
Now, in the third chapter, we see that Simon Bass is actually getting better with his constructs to the point where he is able to outsmart Kyle Rayner and to get him with a surprise attack. Remember, Kyle told Simon would pass if he was able to lay one single punch. We see that Simon Bass is about to accomplish that goal right here and now. Shifting back to Jessica after punching Guy Gardner, to Jessica, this could be the end of her career as a Green Lantern, since she punched a superior officer. Except for Guy, he finds this funny and actually wants to continue her training in a way to see if she can actually handle herself. So we get to see him challenge her in a full out brawl because she needs to learn how to fight. Now shifting to Mars, this is going to be an important moment here. This is the moment where we learn about another one of the first Seven Lanterns who defeated Valthum billion years ago. His name is Zakran. Zakran was a White Lantern. Remember, when it comes to DC Comics, there are two kinds of Martians. The white ones, as you can see here, and the green ones like Martian Manhunter. Except for this one, Zakran, we learn that when he was a kid, his whole town was killed off by a group of thugs, even his family. So 10 years later from that moment, he find those thugs who killed his family and burned his town and killed them. Except after Zakran had killed off those thugs, one of the first seven Green Lantern rings appear and makes him a lantern to fight against Falthoon. In the present day, while we see Falthoon, who again is in the body of Rami, is looking through the books the Guardians have that can help him find where the seven lantern rings went. If he finds them, one, it can get him back to his Earth, but he can get rid of all of the lanterns across the universe. When he is looking through the books, each of the seven rings that he looks up, they're gone. They were destroyed, except for one. And that one is on the hand of Jessica Cruz. And with her having one of the first seven lantern rings, that it gives him the ability to bring back the travel lantern to take him back home to his earth. Now we get to the point where we can say that the training for Simon Bass is basically over because now this is just a game between Simon Bass and Kyle Rayner to see who can outsmart the other person with their creativity. So it is nice to see these two kind of now just fooling around and having some fun. Still, this is a lesson that a lantern is only strong not just with their willpower, but also with their creativity. For Jessica Cruz, well, we see her still fighting against Guy Gardner. At this point, it is just her time to shine. When it gets at that point, she is able to beat him and he actually gives up. So this was nice to see because for the character development for Jessica Cruz, this was again her getting more comfortable with being a Green Lantern. Remember, she is someone who has anxiety. Now after both Jessica Cruz and Simon Bass had finished their training, well now it is time for them to get reinstated as Green Lanterns, meaning that Jessica Cruz and Simon Bass get their lantern symbols back on their chest, except you have Jon Stewart tell both Simon and Jessica that they already have their next mission. They need to escort Rami to the Vault of Shadows, because to everyone right now, they don't know that Valthum has Rami's body, but Valthum is claiming that he can fix the Green Lantern rings by going to the vault. Of course, we know that this is going to be a trap, and this is where we are going to end today's video. So please hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel for more content to come in the near future. Also, any suggestions on books I should read? Well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know, your suggestion could be a future video down the road. But I do hope you enjoy today's video.